Hello folks and welcome to Friday's video. No hi-fi news etc. Today, Christmas and all that. In fact, Christmas is coming and the goose is getting fast, but our wallets and purses seem to be traveling in the opposite direction. So I am wandering into the realm where two digits rule. Looking to improve your hi-fi loss at a budget? Need retail therapy, but prefer to do it on the cheap? Want to treat yourself or another? while counting the pennies. Here's a selection of ideas for you, covering a variety of different product types, all at or under 100 pounds. This is an awareness piece. It's not a review thing, unless I've already done the review, in which case I'll mention that as I'm chatting away. So brace yourself for 15 companies and a total of, oh, how many, 25 products, I think. So, as Bugs Bunny once said, okay, Smokey, roll them. And first up, we have headphone accessory outfit, Deconi. That deserves, in my opinion, anyway, more attention than it's currently getting. And I hope to do that in the near future. But for now, let's take a quick look at what the company offers. First up is the Deconi Choice Nuggets at £25 a pack. Arriving as a pack of four in black or brown, Choice Nuggets are aimed at uncomfortable headphone, headband, hotspots. Right, well, that's used all of the letter H's in this video, I'm afraid. By creating multiple points of contact, the nuggets disperse the pressure so that you don't have any painful pressure points on your head. Next up for £85 is the Deconi headphone stand. This is a full wooden construction with a black finish, topped off with an engraved Deconi audio logo along the base. The stand itself includes four rubber feet to prevent scratches. And they, of course, help to prevent the unit sliding across any smooth surfaces. We ain't finished next. We're going to talk about the True Wireless Tips for £15 per pack. This is a pack of replacement tips for your earphones. Each pack offers a pair of small, medium and large tips and are aimed at Sennheiser Momentums, Fostex TM2s, and many others. There's also replacement Apple AirPod tips for £9 a pack, and for £20 a pack, the Samsung Galaxy Bud Pro tip pack. Check out the link below for the full range, and I will be putting links in the description. Finally, from Deconi is the foam kit, priced at £15. This kit can be used to tune the sound of your headphones. These foam sheets arrive in four different densities and can be cut to size and are large enough to fully cover even the largest drivers. Placing foam between your ears and the driver generally targets the high frequency range, reducing the highest frequencies and essentially softening the sound of your headphones. This can help if you find sibilance or long-term listening fatigue to be an issue. Change of product now and a change of company and we're going to look at DS Audio and in my opinion the best stylus cleaner you can find currently on the market. You pay £80, and yes, there are cheaper options, but for what it is and what it does and how it compares to the competition, well, I love it to bits. And I have reviewed this one, so I'll put a link in the description. You basically rest this device on your turntable platter, carefully lower the stylus tip into the exposed sticky pad, and then you lift the stylus off again, dragging the dirt and muck off the stylus and leaving it on that sticky pad. Bottom line, you have a squeaky clean stylus. Next, we have a few items from Clear Audio.
first up is the Elixir of Sound, a stylus cleaner priced at £30. Now, I haven't tried it myself as yet. However, it looks interesting. This is a stylus cleaning fluid in a little bottle, and you get a brush included. It's aimed at all cartridges and stylus types. Up next is a diamond cleaner, a stylus brush at £20. So if you've already got yourself some liquid and you just need a brush to clean that stylus tip, then consider this one. And finally from Clear Audio, the record cleaning brush for £35. So if the stylus itself is not so much your focus, but the vinyl record itself is, then check out this carbon fiber brush that features two rows containing over 1 million anti-static carbon fiber bristles. I know because I've counted every single one of them. Next we're off to Edifier and we're looking at a pair of earbuds, wireless earbuds. Priced at £80, these are the W240TNs. These little things offer active noise cancellation, Bluetooth 5.3, and dual dynamic drivers in gunmetal black or white. And I love the press release for this, which attempts to describe the finish and the styling of these earbuds by saying, and I quote, Think Robocop meets Blade Runner. 2049. Arriving with a compact charge case, the W240TNs provide eight and a half hours of playtime. From earbuds to cartridges, and we're looking at a gold ring next, and the E2 Moving Magnus cartridge at £85. This one features the same stylus profile as the lower cost E1, which means a spherical profile, but with the additional benefit of an upgraded aluminium cantilever, which provides more accuracy. On a slight tangent now, when looking at cartridges, far too many people focus way too much attention on the stylus tip, and less on the cantilever. For me, first thing I do when I'm reviewing a new cartridge, I find out all about the cantilever. I personally think it's far more important than the shape of any old stylus tip. And next we're looking at Grado, although my American friends would probably call them Grado. Is that right? Tell me if I'm right or wrong on that one. And we're looking at the Prestige SR60Xs at £94. Now the Prestige series were the first headphones designed by John Grado three decades ago. This enhanced X-series speaker design encompasses a new magnetic circuit that's been revised for improved efficiency in conjunction with a newly designed voice coil and diaphragm to further reduce distortion. A quick change of company, and we're looking at cables from QED and their Connect range. QED's new Connect range of hi-fi and AV cables and adapters has been designed in the UK and is available in a satin black finish wrapped with a rather sexy flexible PVC jacket. Each cable, where applicable, features custom molded 24 karat gold plated QED connectors 
and plugs and 99.99% oxygen-free copper conductors. And the entire range turns up in minimal, fully biodegradable packaging. About time, hey? Sample prices, well, for a one and a half meter interconnect, we're looking at single-ended both sides, £10.95p, and a few pennies short of €14. Euros. Or RCA to three and a half millimeter jack, again, one and a half meters, £11.95p, or just under €15. Euros. Finally, six meters of unterminated speaker cable. You're looking at £24.95p, or just under €32. Euros. Next, we're looking at Milty, a brand that's a blast for my own childhood past, in hi-fi terms at least, and the ZeroStat 3 anti-static gun at £75. This is the best way to reduce static on your vinyl, but also around your hi-fi. It removes clicks and pops during vinyl play, and it will reduce the amount of dust that's attracted to your vinyl during storage. Plus, if you run valves, then a quick blast with a zero stat will reduce the noise floor. Really? Next up, we have In Acoustic, which is a new company to me. We have the Excellence Digital Coax 1 meter of interconnect cable for £90. This digital cable has two separately routed shields with silver plated conductors. They're finished off with 24 karat gold plated metal connectors. Also from the company is the Premium XLR to XLR 3 meter cables for £95 each. So that's a male XLR and a female XLR on the other side. This one also has double shielding, gold plated plugs and high purity OFC copper within. Next up and let's take care of our vinyl shall we? This time we're going to be using a Spin Clean Record Washer System Mark II, priced at £79. Now, I've already produced a review video for the Disco Antistat Vinyl Cleaning System, but that ain't the only game in town, folks. The Spin Clean, I know, is very popular amongst a whole swathe of vinyl fans. It looks similar in design to the Disco, but has an interesting alcohol-free cleaning solution that cleans your record grabs all the muck and then sinks to the bottom of the included bath. This one was designed and apparently still is manufactured in Pittsburgh in the USA. Next, we're looking at headphones from AKG and the K92 headphones priced at £79. These are closed backed headphones packing in 40 millimeter drivers. What I like about the K92s is the replaceable ear pad option because you and I both know that they are the first things to go in any headphones. So being able to replace the ear pads themselves, that just adds value to the whole headphone design. Oh and you do get a three meter cable included too, terminated with a three and a half millimeter plug, and you get a 6.35 millimeter converter plug. Staying on headphones now and a company called Austrian Audio and they have the High 
X15 headphones. These are also closed backed and they can be folded away and there's a nice little metal hinge system for that. The ear pads also give you a measure of isolation. There is, of course, a headphone cable included, although this one is 1.4 millimeters terminated by a three and a half millimeter plug with that usual 6.35 millimeter converter. These headphones use 44 millimeter high excursion drivers featuring a ring magnet and copper clad aluminium voice coils. The idea for this driver design is to reduce weight and to speed up driver movement, improving detail. Next, we have a dinky little amplifier stroke DAC thing for £100 and a few pennies from Helm Audio. This is aimed at smartphone use and also laptop use in conjunction with a pair of headphones. So you plug in this little gizmo into your phone or your laptop, and then on the other side, you plug in your headphones. This is a THX certified device. It also supports MQA, PCM up to 384 MHz, and DSD up to 5.6 MHz. More cables for you now, this time from the UK outfit, The Cord Company. And first up, we're looking at the C-Line Interconnect. One meter of this particular cable will set you back for £63. The C-Line Analog RCA cable features the company's proprietary tuned array conductor technology. There's also an over-molded RCA plug with gold plating plus high-quality OFC copper conductors. Cord also offer low-cost speaker cables called the C-Screen X at £8 per meter. Fully shielded, C-Screen X is aimed at both audio and home cinema systems and is also a cost-effective upgrade for AV installations. The cable features Cord Company's XLPE insulation and is discreet enough for easy fitting and routing. At just 9mm in diameter, it's flexible enough to bend around corners with ease. And to end, we have a couple of products from Macintosh. Yeah, that Macintosh. And you're probably thinking, how on earth am I going to recommend two products from Macintosh at under £100 each? Maybe under five grand each, maybe? £10,000, if you want to be slightly generous. Under £100? Surely not. Well, how about a mug? £20 for a mug. This is a 16 ounce, that's 473 millilitres mug. It's made from high quality ceramic. The Macintosh mug is, according to the company, and I quote, perfect for mid-morning tea breaks that go up to 11. But that's not all. We're going to end this particular video with the 70th anniversary Macintosh towel, priced at £55. This is a high quality, and would it be anything else, heavyweight towel made from 100% cotton. Ideal for the beach, this Macintosh 70th anniversary towel measures 40 inches by 70 inches. And that's your lot. I hope you enjoyed this particular holiday orientated buyer's guide for you hi-fi fans out there. And I hope you found something in that list to interest you. If nothing else, then I'm off to the beach with that towel. Don't forget, please, to check out the description, which has all kinds of links to my Facebook group, my Patreon page, and also my website. And there are contact links for all the companies in this video. 
And there's a couple of review links for some of the products I've featured in this video as well. Plus, a favor, if you wouldn't mind, could I ask you to click the like and subscribe button if you haven't already done so? Just helps to keep the channel growing. Now, I'll be back on Monday with a review. I think it's an archive piece, and I have a couple of wrongs to write, but I'll tell you more about it on Monday. Hope to see you there. Hope to have your company. Until then, folks, bye-bye for now.